So we created our first Billy file without any spacing here. This is all single spaced. And then we saved it as a new file and we added using our layout and we put 12 points of space before rule one and two points after. And then we used our format brush to apply it to all our other rules. And we also formatted all these in a blue color. And now, instead of doing that through the layout tab or you know, possibly through here, we're going to we're going to make it into a style. So you know that styles are on the home tab. These ones are all done. All a style is is a collection of format. So if I come here to normal and hover here, you can see that the normal style has a left alignment spacing, 1.08 uh, paragraph spacing, etc. And now we're going to make our own style. So we're going to take this bold Times New Roman 11 and we are going to turn it into a new style. And we can do that from our styles pane by clicking new styles. Or I'm going to close that. And the styles pane, you get it from clicking the styles launcher. So we can go to a new style here. Or if we click this more button, we can create a style here. Now this one doesn't quite look the same as the other one, but if I click modify, I get this big, uh, bigger dialog box. So we're going to call this style rule, and it is going to have bold 11 times New Roman, 12 points before and two after, and we're going to say okay. And now this is going to appear in the gallery. Now you cannot use the Format Painter to paint a style on here. You do have to select these and apply it. So you can see right now Rule Tool 2 is the no spacing style. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. And I'm going to press and hold my Control key so that I can select text that is not contiguous, meaning it's not right next to each other. So with the control key down, going down the page, I've selected them all and I'm going to change them all to the rule style. And big deal, what's the difference, right? Well, here's the difference, is that if we decided that this was going to be printed and we wanted all these rules to no longer be black, we want them to be purple. We could change them all, but if our document is 20 pages long, that is going to get annoying. And so we can come up to our style here in the gallery and right click on it and click modify. And we are going to change this to purple and say OK. And bam, it is done. So it's a global update. And now let's add this style. Now I could just make a new style without selecting it, but then I have to go come in here. Actually, it knows I'm on something blue, so it's picked up on that. But if I'm here on this black text and get a new style, um, I would then have to change the color and the size and whatnot. And I know that this is an example of what I want it to look like. So I select it first and then make my style. You can do it either way. And we're going to call this style um, the rule. And this is the body text for the rule. And we're going to say OK. And now in our gallery, we have a new style here. And so now we are going to, again, we're going to use our control key, keep it held down. We're going to go and with the control key held down this entire time, we're just clicking and selecting this text randomly around our page here. And then, whoops, and then we're going to apply 
that style to all that text. And again, the power of this is that we can make global changes. You have to think about this as being 10 pages long. So if we decide that we don't like the blue text, we can come here and modify it. And we can change the color. And we'll make it a dark green. And when we say OK, it's all globally updated. The style, I'm going to change the rule now. Uh, so right click on the rule, style in the gallery, click modify. And now I want to come in here to get to some of my less obvious things that you can't see here. Like for example, my paragraph formatting. And I'm going to add a little bit more space before these. Well, actually, I'm going to add a lot so that we can see it uh, right before our eyes. And I'll click OK and OK. And watch the spacing uh, all spread out here. So that is how you make a style, how you create a style. Now I'm going to add another rule. and. Actually, styles are used for a more advanced level when you're formatting a booklet, a flyer, a newsletter, and you want to be consistent. Often you will design these first, and then you will type. So right now I'm at the bottom of my document. I'm going to enter. I'm going to click this style rule. It automatically spaces it for me. This is rule 12. And when I press enter, and I'll fix up that situation there. When I press enter, I now go to the this style, rule body text. And when I start typing, I have what I want. I press enter. I click rule. I type the next rule and enter and switch. And you can see as you go, it is formatting for you.